Hello, this is the physics course and I'm Shikufer. Okay, let's continue with this part of the uh, physics which is about a comparison between mass and weight of the objects. What is mass and what is weight? Are they different or are they referring or, uh, to the same things? Are they the uh, same a term for the same thing? Of course, no. Um, mass and weight are different. We already have talked about mass of the objects, what it is, how it is measured, what is its yield, and uh, what tools you can use to measure mass of the different objects with the different states. You know that the mass is the amount of the particles in an object. And also it is measured by using a digital or analog balance or scale. If you have a solid object and you want to measure its mass, you can just directly put it on the balance. If you have a liquid, so how do you measure the mass of the object? It was like this, that you pour the, pour the liquid into the container. So before doing that, you have to know how much is the, way, uh, the mass of that container first. So you first, uh, uh, you first come to measure the mass of the empty container by using the balance and record it as M1 or whatever. So the first reading of the mass. Then after that, you fill the, uh, the beaker or the container with that amount of the liquid that you have and you place both on the scale and you read the mass of the both and you call it as M2, for example. Then you uh, come with this formula, M2 minus M1, which is the mass of the both beaker and the liquid minus the mass of liquid only. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, the minus the mass of the empty container. So it gives you the mass of the liquid. It means M2 minus M1 becomes the mass of the liquid. So um, now after that, we have the unit of the mass and we say that it is measured in kilograms or grams. And then for some object, uh, if you have the object with the same amount of the particles, with the same mass it has, of course this mass won't change for the same object that, um, and everywhere will be the same. Unless, for example, we can change the mass of the objects by changing the size of them. Um, for example, your mass will be changed if you gain weight or if you lose weight. So, um, so you become fatter or you become thinner, so it means that your mass has changed. So mass is a fixed, actually, uh, value for the same object. But we have weight on the other hand, we have weight, and weight of the object um, is measured by using a force meter. The force meter has this kind of shape, uh, it is vertically, actually, uh, hang from somewhere, you can hold it in your hand. And it has a spring inside, this is a spring, and there is a hook which is attached to the end of the spring, and you can put the thing that you want to measure, it's the weight of that object here on the hook, and after that, um, depends on how much the weight is, this spring will be stretched down. And there is one marker here, which points to the uh, value of the weight of that object. For example, here, is pointing on to the 5 Newton, which means that this object uh, weighs 5 Newton. Um, weight is a kind of a force which um, actually pulls down the objects. It, is, uh, it has a direction, which is uh, actually the direction of the force is downward to the F. So this is the weight of the object. And uh, it has, of course, a unit, which is measured in Newtons and by the symbol of N, uh, capital N, can you show the unit of that, uh, of the weight? And after that, we should know that the weight varies and these changes in the weight depends on where the object 
actually is placed on. You can use this um, formula. So weight in Newton equals to mass in kg times gravity, gravitational field of that place. It can be Mars, it can be Earth, it can be ever that you actually tend to go and you measure your weight on it. So um, then for the Earth, it is considered as 10 or uh, somehow equal to 9.81 Newton per uh, kilograms. Here's the gravitational field of the Earth. So if you want to convert, if my mass, for example, is 4D, so it becomes 4D times 10 or 9.81, which gives you a more accurate result, then it would be 400 newtons. It means that on the Earth, I weigh this much, 400 newtons. So my mass is 40 and my weight is 400 newtons. If I'm taken to the other planets and they have less gravity than the Earth, of course, my weight will be less. If I'm taken to the other planets and they have a higher gravitational field than uh, the Earth, compared to the Earth, so it means that my weight will be more because this number here, the value, increases. So, if I want to write the formula, of course, I can show by the symbols. It means that weight equals to mass times gravity. Another name, uh, I said that the weight and the force, they are the same things. So, in a set of W, you can put F or force. So, force also can be equal to mass times A. A means acceleration due to gravity are that the unit of them focuses in newtons, mass will be in kg or kilograms, and A will be uh, measured in uh, meter per seconds squared.